It's a time of political strife, as a number of high-ranking politicians across the world have been revealed to have been avoiding taxes following the Panama Papers leak. The Prime Minister of Iceland has already been forced to step down after mass protests, and our own Prime Minister, David Cameron, has been revealed to have evaded £30,000 worth of taxes before taking the role. I think the problem at the moment is there's a big gap between what Cameron himself said is legal but morally wrong. And I think we need to look now at closing that gap so that if something is considered to be morally wrong, that we also make it illegal. It works like this. If you have £10 but invest £5 of it into a company, you're only taxed for the £5 left. Countries around the world have companies such as the one in Panama existing only to be invested in and willing to sell you the money back for much less than what you would have lost in tax. Well, you always want to get tax evasion, won't you? It's always happened through history, hasn't it? So nothing's perfect, is it? So I can empathise because I'm thinking if I was a multimillionaire and someone gave me a legal way to reduce the amount I paid, I would be tempted to do that so those laws need to be changed rather than the, the people because they're just exploit, exploiting loopholes that exist. But still, with over 11.5 million documents and new names being revealed every day, only time will tell just how widespread this is. Paul Robinson, Keys News.